what Goo the Overachiever is this morning. So it's seven o'clock. I'm almost ready. Um, getting ready to climb out of my tent, take that down, and then get on the road because today is a big day. Um, going over Clingman's Dome, the highest point on the AT, um, and hitting the 200 mile mark and taking a zero tomorrow um, out of the Smokies for a day and staying with uh, a couple of uh, Christina and Boxman, a couple of Trail Angels, and I'm going to get to hang out with their dog and be normal for about 36 hours. So I'm super excited for that. So today's a very big day, very exciting day. Hence the reason I was probably up before dark. So, all right, let me get packed up so we can uh, go hike 10.5 today. That's what I got to get down to Newfound Gap. Let's do this. Double Spring Gap shelter, y'all. We're all still tarped up for the winter. There you go. Well, good morning. I don't know what day it is, but it's the day I am going out for a zero. There's an impending storm in a couple days, so that's seriously going to derail my plans. But whatever, you just got to be flexible. But I want to just get on here and say good morning because now I have my 2.8 mile ascent up to Klingman's Dome. And uh, I've taken like 20 steps out of camp and I'm already out of breath. So that tells you what kind of morning I'm gonna have, but I'm just gonna take a step one, one, one step at a time and, uh, and get up to the top and then uh, hopefully make up some time getting down in the newfound gap. All right, y'all, let's go hike today. There, I'm still going in the right direction. Look at how crazy this is. Like literally a turn of a corner yesterday and I am in a whole different environment of pines and moss. Look at that, y'all. Oh, so beautiful. And the little bird in the background. Look at this view. Hey, everybody. So I am like a tenth of a mile from Klingman's Dome. Well, the base of the dome, anyhow. And I just hit mile 200. And I'll be at the highest point on the AT today. So I am super emotional right now. And super proud. That I, uh, that one, I made it this far. And to the right things that I needed to do for me to get here. Even though that means spending quite a bit of my days by myself. But that's all good. 
I'm starting to uh, really become at peace with it way more than I thought that I would. Um, so, but I wanted to just let you know, I am at mile 200. I don't know if there's a 200. I just looked at my position on far out and we about to, we're about to get to Clingman's Dome. So I'm gonna turn you around because it is simply stunning right now where I'm at. It's telling me more light, but I need to keep it in action mode. So I apologize if it's a little bit dark. Oh, and I gotta get down this without breaking my neck or falling off a ridge. All right, okay, that's better. But look how pretty this is right here. Isn't it beautiful? It is chilly up here, but I'm also at 6,600 feet above sea level. And uh, as I go down later today, I'm sure I'm gonna be too hot. It's actually uh, beautiful up here. And I can't even tell you, if you ever come to Clingman's Dome, go up on the AT, heading southbound a little bit. The pine, this pine that you smell up here is unbelievable. But let me just kind of turn you around and I just came down there after a very long, steep up. All right, I'm gonna turn you off here because this is one, wet. Two, I gotta get down that. I just wanted to give a quick thank you to the trail maintainers because coming down off of something like that is way easier. So thank you, because I know that's a lot of hard work, back-breaking work, to get those done. Look at that little thing. It's in the Forest Service, and it's a little trail counter. So I guess it counted me. I'm <laughs> walking past. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I've never seen that before. Okay, let's keep going. Clingman's Dome. This is like the longest three-tenths of a mile of my life. So I was just thinking about that uh, trail cam that just counted me. So do they count like when a bear walks by it? Does it, how does it know it's a human? Or if a deer walks by it? Because if you remember yesterday, in yesterday morning's video, there was like four deer right outside the back of my tent. And uh, so if a deer walks by it, does it count it as a person? Or is there actually a camera in there? Or I guess maybe there's some like frequencies that are different between humans and different animals. I have no idea, but I will say this. When, when you hike by yourself a lot, and I've, I've noticed it in other YouTubers too, and it's not just me, you, your brain just starts to think up really, really weird things because you're just, you're just, you're just, you're just being, like, you're just there. So, I don't know. I'm sure there's going to be more of the crazy thought process, processes. But I thought that one was just kind of interesting. I'm sure somebody will be able to comment below and let me know. Somebody that is familiar with the Forest Service traffic counter. I don't even remember what the name of it was. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. Does it pick up animals and stuff? Or is there some difference in our makeup and how that camera works? I would just be interested to know that. Just for spits and giggles. I'm going to keep the language appropriate in case there's kids watching.
Lame Men's Dome. I did it. I'm here. I'm at the top. It is windy. It is cold. And it is not open yet to the people. So the only people in here are some volunteers cleaning it up and me. I truly feel like I'm walking in some magical, magical land today. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's just so funny how yesterday Magellan and I turned a corner and we were just in a completely different world. It's just amazing. We were both just like, what the heck? We weren't sure if it was gonna last, but clearly, clearly it's lasting. Because this is pretty much, I mean, and it's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous in here. And the smells, I can't even describe the smells. You know how that smell is when you like, first like, if you bring a real Christmas tree home and it smells, We'll multiply that times like a million. I mean, the scent of pine and earth and that in here is just, it's, it's, I don't know that I've ever, I've smelled earth, but I don't know if I've ever smelled it to this level before. Yeah, the smells are, the smells are just a part of it. My senses are probably like in super overload right now between the smells and the beauty. The stairs today. This is just crazy. The amount of stairs that have been built along this trail. I, I can't even, I can't even begin, begin to estimate how many. If somebody knows how many stairs are in this section of the Smokies. Um, I'm going down into Indian Grave Gap and then over to Newfound. But I mean, it's just, it's tons, tons. I mean, they're way up there. It's like never ending stairs. Hey, so I am at Indian Grave Gap right now. And the parking area you can see is closed. The road's not open yet, but this sign says that I am 1.7 from Newfound Gap. I almost had a nervous breakdown because it said 3.3 to Newfound Gap Road, but that's on the road prong trail. Sorry, since I'm on the AT, it's 1.7. Oh, I'm pooped. Um, so before I start going on this last little climb and I can't talk, let me tell you what happened today. So I got up early because I'm, my trail angels are picking me up at Newfound Gap. And I told them five o'clock. So I'm like, I'm gonna get right on trail at uh, sunrise. And I did that, 7.35 was when I rolled out of camp. And, uh, but what I did wrong was I took the um, bad weather bypass. Somehow I missed the AT and took the, I mean, it is the AT. If there's bad weather on the AT and they don't want you up on the ridge, there's a bad weather bypass going to Clingman's Dome. So what that did was that added like an, a mile to my already 10.5 day. So luckily I was able to get a message and let them know that I would be there closer to six than five. Uh, but now I'm pooped. I am pooped because that's a lot of energy. I had to, the best thing that happened out of that was I was able to put my trash in the trash can. Um, and I didn't have to carry it up that 0.5 to actually get to Clayman's Dome so that I could take pictures and videos up there. Um, but I still had to get up to the base of the dome just to get back on the AT. So that was a big, big mistake. I don't know where I missed it at, but it was just the wrong day to make a mistake like that. But I'm here now. I got 1.7 to get into Newfound Gap. And um, I'm going to sleep like a baby tonight, let me tell you like a baby so i just had to go over that i was like why i don't know really know what the wire fence meant but so there's a sign up here i'm gonna read it real quick beach forest enclosure it's one of approximately 20 special sites that have been identified for fencing i know it's getting dark 
um, against the wild hog, a non-native animal that has been present in the park only since the 1950s. The exclosure contains a beach forest community that is unique to the southern Appalachians. And you can just see how beautiful the flowers are. It contains an assemblage of native plants and animals that would be seriously impaired by the invasion of hogs. So these, there's another one that I'm going to cross. And it was, um, according to the site, says they were installed in 1984 to retain the natural character of the site. So now we know. Sorry about the sun. So I'm just about to Newfound Gap. You can see the wall behind me. And I'm like, I don't know, two tenths, one tenth of a mile. And today has just been a range of emotions. I hit the 200 mile mark. Went over the highest point on the AT at Klingman Stove. Even though I decided to take the this bad weather storm bypass and do more miles than I needed to do. Crazy girl. Huh. Maybe when I'm all done with this, I'll go back and do that half mile the right way. 200 miles. Highest point on the AT, Klingman's Dome. I'm getting ready to climb up to Newfound Gap. And you can hear what means a shower and food and clean clothes because you hear the traffic. I'm excited. I'm emotional. I am extremely grateful that I have trail angels waiting for me right now. And uh, I will get uh, all my basic needs met while I'm at their house for the next day or so. So we're here, a couple more days in the Smokies and then that will be behind me. But uh, yeah beautiful look at those rhododendrons i can't wait till they start blooming <laughs> I, I, I mean i can't be moving north fast enough that i'm gonna outpace them but, uh, i think that's all that's all i got to say right now is that today was a wonderful day and a little bit of a stressful day all in one but a lot of milestones that I've reached all in a matter of a few hours today.